Here we're going to be looking at secured borrowing where we assign accounts receivable as collateral here for a loan or for a note. And what is this assigning of accounts receivable here? So bank B, the creditor, requires corporation A to debtor to designate or assign or pledge receivable as collateral as security for a loan. So if the loan is not paid when due, bank B, the creditor, can convert these receivables or collateral to cash and collect on the receivables here. Now, for example here, on 31X1 Corporation A, the debtor provides or assigns $350,000 here of its accounts receivable to Bank B, the creditor, as collateral for a $250,000 note that they're going to receive here from Bank B. So Corporation A will continue to collect the accounts receivable. The account debtors are not, not notified of this arrangement here. And Bank B assesses a finance charge here of 1% of the accounts receivable and interest on this note here of 12% per year here. So Corporation A makes monthly payments to Bank B for all the cash it collects on the receivable. So let's go up and look at our example here. Uh, we're going to be looking at Corporation A here and Bank B here and do a side-by-side -side comparison here. So. Uh, our accounts receivable is going to be assigned here for $350,000 here uh, from Corporation A to the Bank B here as collateral for a $250,000 amount here of a note that uh, Corporation A is going to uh, receive as, as be a notes payable here to Corporation A and a notes receivable here to Bank B. So Corporation A is going to receive a loan here in the form of a note here from Bank B. So let's look at our exam uh, first what happens here so at the beginning of this note here. So we transfer our accounts receivable and the issuance here of this note on 31X1. So looking at Corporation E here, they're going to receive cash here of $246,500 and they have a finance charge or an expense here of $3,500. So that $3,500 is based on the $350,000 worth of assigned notes receivable by that 1% in our charge here on those notes receivable. So that equals here $3,500. So essentially our cash was reduced here by this finance charge of $3,500. And they're going to have a notes repayable here, a uh, payable of $250,000 that they'll have here due to Bank B here. So the 240, the finance charge here reduced the amount of cash that we'd be normally getting from this notes payable here. And then looking at Bank B here, uh, they would have a notes receivable of $250,000 and then they receive this finance revenue here of $3,500 and then the cash that they paid out was $240,000. Uh, $6,500 here. Now let's look at a collection here in March. They're going to collect our Corporation A is going to collect $220,000 on their accounts receivable. The less there's going to be a cash discount here that the customers take here for $3,000. Plus there's going to be receipt here of $7,000 in sales returns. So let's look at uh, Corporation. First off, Bank B here is not going to have any entry because we're just making collections here in March. So for Corporation A, they're going to have a cash that they're going to receive here for $217,000 here. And then their sales discounts here of $3,000. And then sales returns here of $7,000. And then the uh, balance here goes to our accounts receivable. We're going to reduce our accounts receivable here by $227,000. And that includes the $220,000 worth of collections plus the $7,000 here of sales returns for a total amount here of $227,000. Again, um, Bank B here has no entry. But let's look at our uh, assigned accounts receivable here. We have $300,000 $50,000 that we started out with here and now we've reduced that by the $227,000 worth of accounts receivable that we received here so the balance remaining is $123,000 here in the assigned accounts receivable. Now let's move on to our remittance here in March collections plus the accrued interest to Bank B here that um, the Corporation A is going to remit here to Bank B and that's going to be on 4-1 uh, here April 1st here. So first looking at Corporation A we have an interest expense here of $250,000 here on that notes payable balance here. So there was $250,000 sitting out here in our notes payable times, times that 12% interest charge 
for one month here. So that equals $2,500. And then we would reduce our notes payable here by $217,000. Now that's based on the cash that we collected here in March. We collected cash of $217,000, so we would reduce our notes payable here by $217,000. Now we're going to pay out, the balance is going to go here to pay out our um, cash amount here of 219500 We're going to pay, our Corporation A is going to pay that here to the Bank B, that cash here for $219,500. And that's the balance, that's the interest expense here, plus the notes payable here, that, that reduction of our notes payable here. So uh, Bank B here is going to receive $219,500 in cash, and then they're going to also record interest revenue here of $2,500 on this note here and then they're going to reduce their notes receivable here by $217,000. So what we have remaining here in our notes payable we had $250,000 here less the $217,000 that we've reduced our notes payable by so the remaining balance here in the notes payable is $33,000 here for corporation a here. Now let's look at our collection here on April uh, on the balance on, uh, on this account. Less a hundred uh, one thousand dollar riff written off here is uncollectible. So we would increase our cash here for hundred and twenty two thousand dollars and then we have our allowance on our, for that uncollectible amount here of a thousand dollars here. So we would the balance goes to our accounts receivable here at 123,000 at a, for reduce our accounts receivable here for corporation A by $123,000. So we had $350,000 sitting here in those assigned accounts receivable and then we had uh, $227,000 that we, let's just go over here and look at it. We had $227,000 sitting here and we reduced it by that amount here in March that those assigned accounts receivable. So there's $123,000 in accounts receivable here that we now have assigned in addition. So we had that $123,000 that we've assigned here. We reduced it. So we have a total uh, accounts receivable assigned of of zero at this point here. And then again for Bank B, uh, on uh, collections during April there's no entry here. So let's look at what we have for our final uh, account, or what we have to do here in our last entry here. So we remitted the balance due here on this $33,000 on this note here. We had the $250,000 uh, balance on our notes payable uh, less the $217,000 that dollars that we remitted before on it. So we have this note here, uh, the balance amount here, $33,000 plus the interest here on 5-1 or May 1st here. So we have the interest expense here uh, for Corporation A at $300. That was based here on the $33,000 balance in our notes payable times 12% here and then for one month here. So that we have an interest expense here of $300 and then we would reduce our notes payable by the balance that remains here, $33,000. And then our cash, we would reduce our cash account here um, 30, by $33,300 that we'd be paying here to the bank here. The bank would receive $33,300. And then they also, the bank also, or Bank B also gets the interest revenue here of three hundred. dollars Oops, it uh, should be $300 here that they should have. So um, then we got the notes receivable. They would reduce that here by $33,000. So uh, Corporation A pays off the uh, in their cash amount here by um, th they pay $33,000 to the bank here. They pay their pay out their cash amount here, thirty-three thousand to the bank here. Bank receives thirty-three thousand three hundred dollars in cash, and then we have the notes receivable. They reduce that here. The bank would reduce that by thirty-three thousand dollars, and then they have interest revenue here of three hundred and thirty dollars. That's the balance that we'd have between our cash account here plus the notes receivable. So here we were sitting with the $250,000 in notes payable and less the $217,000 that was paid off here earlier. So we had this $33,000 in our uh, notes payable, the balance here, and we taken care of it here 
on this final remittance here that we have. And that's how we'd handle here an accounts receivable assigned and then as collateral here for notes payable.